Hey everyone, welcome back to Brown Coat Nerd. Today we've got another short follow-up video on our Glock 43 upgrades. Today we'll be looking at the second holster that I purchased for this gun, and this is the one I am currently using. I absolutely love this thing. Uh, this is the DeSantis Gunhide Superfly. Um, I do believe they have an older um, pocket-style holster. This is a pocket-style holster. Um, but I don't think that has this kind of... I think I want to say they call it gator skin or something, but it's kind of grippy um, material. Now it's not necessarily tacky to the feel, but it is rubber and it's got that raised surfaces surface as you can see, and it really does help grab on. So it helps stay in your pocket if you do have to um, withdraw this thing. Now I purchased this to replace the cheaper uh, what was it CompTAC hybrid holster. I already did a review on that. Um, and I've always been used to using hybrid holsters. When I first started carrying, that's what I was using. Um, even though it was for an older Polish P64, I managed to find a hybrid holster. Um, and I'd used that for many, many years when I carried that gun. Um, finally sold it, upgraded to a Beretta 85F in 380. Um, and I used just kind of, I had a few different pocket holsters for that. And they are just kind of generically made ones. Um, so nothing specifically for that one. I had purchased some inside the waistband holsters. They weren't hybrids, um, Kydex hybrids. I couldn't find one. Um, and none of those were ever very good. So I pretty much just pocket carried that cheetah. But ultimately I wanted to upgrade. And that also was military surplus or police surplus rather. Ultimately I wanted to upgrade to something modern. Um, and the Glock 43 for me fit the build. Now this one does have a TLR6. Um, light and laser on it. Did your review on this. If you're curious about that, go check it out. And this also has some True Glow um, Tridium fiber optic sights on it. I have not done yet done a review for uh, these sights yet. I still need to make that video, so look forward to that. But these do fit in this DeSantis Superfly holster. Now, this particular holster is specifically made for the Glock 42 or the 43 with that stream light holster. One of my concerns was, since it was also for the 42, that it might be a little loose on my 43. That's not the case at all. Um, it's a very good fit. Even when I put this in like the pocket of my Carhartt jacket, a little bit more of a roomy pocket when I did some practice draws, it would still pull the Glock out. There would be a few times when I did that, the holster would then fall out of the pocket. But the important thing was the holster was not still on the gun as it came out of the pocket. Um, so this little kind of tackiness does help with that quite a bit. It does also come with this guy. So we got Velcro. This is the soft side of the Velcro on the edge there. And then the hook side of the Velcro on this guy. So if you want to put it in your pocket, Maybe you're wearing tight pants and you're worried about like the grip and printing or something. You can just put this on there and they'll be able to tell you got something in your pocket, but it's not going to be obvious as to what it is. And you can obviously also put that on the other side as well. So you can put it in either side. I personally do not use this at all. Um, when I first got it, I did leave that on there just out of curiosity, see how it felt. Now I don't wear skinny jeans and I never will. Um, but even then, and I wear fairly kind of baggy pants, a lot of times cargo shorts. Yes, I still wear cargo shorts. You watch, you watch, they're making a comeback. Um, but even with this on there, I just kind of felt like it made it a little bit thicker than it needed to be. And for the tightness of pants that I wear, um, there's really no need for it. So I never ever use it other than that very first day that I got it and I was curious and decided to test out see what it was like. Um, I'll probably throw it in my junk drawer not throw it away just in case. But um, we do have this little edge here which is kind of hard. Helps fill up your pocket so it kind of stays in there very well. Now this guy, I did save my receipt for this so I can tell you how much it was. I actually got it off of Amazon. Um, it was $43.99 before tax. Doesn't look like I was charged with shipping. Um, total came to 48.10 after tax. So I was very happy 
with this purchase. I'm very happy with this pocket holster. I know a lot of people don't like the pocket carry. Um, I've had a few friends that are like, oh, you pocket carry. I'm like, no, no, it's cool. I have a pocket holster. I'm not just throwing it in my pocket. And they're still like, ugh. Um, but like I said, it is so freaking convenient, especially in the wintertime when I'm wearing um, kind of bigger clothes. I find this very, very handy. And like I said, a lot of times I'm wearing a uh, Carhartt. Uh, I've got a few different style of Carhartts. Um, there's only one of them that this is a little bit of a tight fit in, but the other styles this fits in very well. Um, and so I'm just a very big fan of it, especially for the price. It was nice and cheap. Um, does come in this little kind of cheap vinyl case there. Um, and DeSantis, they're a known company. They've been around for a while. Now, I will say one thing I kind of like, I was like, oh, crap. Going back to that Glock. Oh, I should have pulled it out here. Um, but my Glock, uh, totally brain farting right now. 84, 85. My, my Cheetah in 380 single stack. Fill me in as to which one that is because I've forgotten all of a sudden. Uh, 85F. <clears throat> I had purchased a DeSantis, um, or actually, no, my in-laws had purchased a DeSantis uh, holster for me that was like an inside the waistband. It was an all-leather one, and my freaking, and everything on there said it would work with my Cheetah, my 85F, but it just would not, the back strap would not reach around the back of the frame. It was almost like it was made for a Cheetah that only had the safety selector on one side, which all of them are ambidextrous. That's not a thing. Um, so that was kind of annoying. It was like that little back strap button just needed to be a little bit longer. Um, so with that guy, I pretty much just, um, I think I already said, it, but I used just kind of generic, um, pocket holsters and kind of made them work, but nothing was ever very great. So when I ordered this, I knew it was called the Superfly and I think I saw it was a DeSantis, but it just didn't really click. But then I recognized this blue vinyl case and I was like, oh no, it's that one holster that didn't quite fit right. Um... You know, and in in DeSantis' defense, I never emailed them. I never attempted to contact them. So maybe I could have gotten a faulty one. Maybe that little back piece of leather had shrunk a little bit more than it was supposed to. Um, but in their defense, I never attempted to contact them. I don't like to bad talk a company if you know I didn't even attempt to have them fix it, give them that option. Um, I just ended up finding some generic pocket holsters, and I was like, screw it, I'll go with this for now. Um, and also, I wasn't planning on using the Britter for a long time. I've been eyeballing one of these Glocks for some time. But, anyways, it completely changed my view on the DeSantis. Obviously, these are two completely different holsters that I had purchased from them. Um, but, yeah, so extremely happy with this holster. In hindsight, I don't know, maybe I will reach out to them. <laughs> um, I, I got that holster as a Christmas gift, I think, like years ago. But who knows, maybe we'll see what they say. And I actually did end up using it a few times. You just couldn't latch that back little latch, but I'm chubby enough. I was putting enough tension on it, you know, between my fat and the belt. Um, it wasn't an issue, but I didn't use it very often like that because I just didn't like it. Um, anyhow, uh, the Superfly is just that. It is Superfly. I absolutely love this holster. Obviously, it's nothing pretty to look at. Um, you know, I throw this in my pocket, go about my business, come home. I just leave it in this holster, you know. I don't take them both out because it typically stays behind, but throw it right back in the holster and put it in my little nightstand gun safe. Um, but yeah, I am very happy with it. Like I said, it does come with that guy. From what I've seen people talking about these, it does look like most people do ditch this, but... I do like the fact that they include this as an option. So I do realize some people have fit bodies and wear tighter clothes to kind of show that off. And this definitely would be a benefit to have it completely concealed. And the size that like smartphones are getting nowadays, you know, it's a little wide for a smartphone, but I don't think people would be like, ooh, gun if they saw that and printed. Even um, with this, you know, you're going to get a little bit of that kind of poking out. I don't think it's too obvious. So either way, I am pretty happy with it. So that's it. That's all I've got for you. Um, the DeSantis Superfly holster, pocket holster. Um, I really like it. It gets two thumbs up for me because that's all the thumbs I've got. Um, and like I said, this one specifically is made for the TLR6. 
if you've got aftermarket sights on there, um, it will fit. And it's not stopping right here. I know it looks like it is, but that's, I mean, this, the sights aren't preventing it from going deeper in. That's, if you, if I pull back, you can see that's just, that's as far as the gun goes into the holster. Um, now, if you had some like really tall freaking suppressor ready sights, you might have a little bit of issue getting those in here. Um, but uh, yeah, that's not my problem. So that's all I've got for you guys. Um, yeah, the DeSantis Gun Height Superfly Holster. Very effective and very affordable. Hoping you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing. And as always, stay safe and stay shiny.